now that you have uh, everything set up, we have looked at the command line and we know what to do. We can use the terminal now. We can clear all the things. And we can say .NET new web API. We can do dash N for a new project. And we could call this the project name. But before we do that, I would like to show you how I organize my code when I'm working with different clients and different projects. And I really advise you to really pay attention to the part that I'm showing you here in this section of the course of becoming a .NET developer. So what you're looking at now is Azure, or in other words, Azure Borge, which is a subsection of what Azure offers. Azure Borge or Azure DevOps has something called Borge inside of the package called Azure DevOps. And it's quite nice because you don't need to be an organization, which means that you who are coding along with me, you can just click on start free with GitHub. And if you click here, what you should be getting is a sign up page where you connect your GitHub account and then you're good to go. I already done this. So you can see that I have some organizations here and I want to create a new organization. Get started with Azure DevOps. Click on continue here. Then you can see that uh, we can name it. So I'm going to name it Enterprise. Since that is taken, we will add 1914. And then I want to have this in West Europe, which is nice. And then we can see if we can actually pass this. 5VVQV3K just like that. Hopefully it goes through. Taking you to your Azure DevOps organization. This is really nice for structuring the way that we work. We want it to be a private project and we want to give it a project name. So take a look at the link that comes up now in the video to get started on Azure DevOps and use the same functionality that I'll be using throughout this course. This is where the namings like a Sprint, Kanban, and Scrum comes into the picture. Here we can use all those different terms by using Azure DevOps. There are many other platforms like Trello, Asana, and other things, but Azure DevOps is quite nice and it's Microsoft, so why not use it? Most of the companies I've been working with are using Azure DevOps, at least for now. Some years ago, they were using the package from Atlassian, which has Bitbucket and other type of technologies in there. So now what we want to do here is to create a project name. I haven't told you yet what we will be creating, but we are going to create an e-commerce website. It's going to be a fun project so I hope you're ready to get started. We're going to call it ecom, just for saying e-commerce. I want to have a dash here, if that's possible. And I want to sell furniture, office furniture. So write office, furniture. Okay, so we have ecom office furniture. Create this project. You see, it's a private project. We got it created already, Ecom Office Furniture. Now I want to show you something cool. I want to show you how I'm using ChatGPT all the time while I'm coding. And I want you to do the same that I'm doing in order to be an efficient developer. So I'm going to say, hi, I have created a project to contain information about what the project will accomplish, I want it to consist of React. And you can see that the way we use it, we are not working against AI, we are instead working with the AI. And we will copy all this information here. Copy that, go to the Ecom Office Furniture, the overview section. You can see here what service would you like to start with, pipelines, porch, repos. But this wiki thing, we can do create project wiki. In here, 
we can just paste all the information. Let me show you something more cool. Please write all this in MD format. And that's it. MD format is what's used in uh, Azure DevOps and in GitHub. Since she didn't know how to do it, I want you to format it with backticks so that I can copy it directly into the page. Give it another try. Here you can see we got the correct information. Copy that and put it in here. And now we can see that we got some more details. We will say office furniture ecom page or web app. And for now we want to save it. Great job.